think we're preparing. Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry we're late today. We had some technical difficulties and we are doing such a great subject today and that's the health benefits of laughter. How <laughs> apropos is that? That we had to laugh because we couldn't get on, the, on our system here. And if you see glitches in Debbie's side of the camera, it's just her computer's acting up. So we're going to do the best we can. You know what, Deb? I want to tell you something. Do you remember when we were younger and we would go out and do a whole mess of stuff with our friends and everything and get togethers, even when our kids were growing up? Remember how much we used to laugh at everything? It was just amazing. How much fun we used to have. We used to be crying and laughing so hard. You know, and, and as we get no older, it's like we just forget about the laugh. It's, everything is too serious. So with that, Debbie, you want to talk a little bit about the health benefits of laughter? Absolutely. You know what, Laura, you are absolutely so right about that. We would laugh so hard and, you know, it's we'd be silly and we'd, we'd get into like these predicaments that Sometimes I'm not too sure how we got out of them. And then we think about it and we talk about it to this day. When we get together, we have so much fun laughing about some of the goofiest things that we did, you know? And so, um, you know, laughter is supposed to be basically kind of like a little bit of medicine, you know, in a way, right? And stress management benefits of laughter are huge. You know, and we talk about this all the time. I mean, we're all so stressed out all the time about so many different factors that happen. Do you ever get to a point where, and I think we're going to talk about this as we go on, but like where you feel like very overwhelmed, you've had so much going on. It could be something in your family. It could be something personal. It could be something going on and you're just on such edge and something minimal happens. Minimal. It, it, it's not even, even that funny, but you get to the point where you're laughing so much, you're practically crying and you're just like, oh my gosh, well, that's a big release of stress. I mean, really is what they say. Okay. And so it's okay to do those crazy things and have that fun and just get get things you know going. But hor there's a, a real um, big thing about hormones that we we will release that cortisol and there's like a couple different ones. There's one I can't even it's, a, it's forms of adrenaline, okay? And they're the growth hormone, and then they increase the level of the hormones like endorphins to actually you know, give us the, um, the T cells and the things that we need to have to, to actually help us with a better immune system. Now, how would, you know, we think of like all these supplements and eat the right foods, but I never would have really put two and two together that say laughter could help your immune system, right? What do you think, Laura? <laughs> yeah. And did you know that in healthy children, they laugh as much as 400 times a day? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's well, great only about 15 times a day because we take life too serious especially now with everything going on in the world we're glued to our tv to all negativity right you know but as far as the hormones i totally agree with that because it when you laugh it reduces stress you know it's almost like exercising your body to produce the like i said the cold is up core cortisol and uh, your dopamine and all that in your, in your growth hormone, I can't talk, growth hormone in your body and stuff. So, and it gives you that physical relief, you know, uh, have you ever felt like you, you have to laugh and you cry? Mm -hmm. I, I was the biggest laugh crier there was, especially when I was with my cousin, Ange, we would be in the car and we would just say something really stupid. And we just would laugh so hard. I couldn't even hardly drive. It was so much fun. We laughed so hard that I missed those days. She moved to another state in Ohio. And, but I missed those days of just laughing like that, like with your cousins and your friends. And you laughed at the stupidest stuff, but it was funny. And you do, you feel a sense of relief afterwards, you know, and, and that, and then, you know, it gives you a physical and emotional release with that. Do you have any questions about that? I think you could talk a little bit about the physical. Oh yeah. Look at this. It says laughter provides a physical, emotional release, but it's a cleanse of the feelings after that 
situation that you have where you where you laugh so hard that you cried and you've got like tears running down your eyes and people are like are you okay and you're like yes and you can't even get your breath you're like having that funny laugh you know it's just so crazy but the physical release is, is is really important they also say that it's a good internal workout so it's really good for your belly like in your diaphragm because you're contracting your abs so who would have ever thought that laughter could be like an exercise right but actually when you think about it you're tightening up your abs and stuff like that and it, and also your shoulders and your muscles around there. And so it provides like good um, workout for your heart. So yeah. that's another thing. I mean, when you think about it, the way our bodies are designed, like everything feeds off of everything. You know, we talk about the gut health to the brain. We talk about, you know, all these things that we do. And we talk so much about the immune system and we bring up stress so much. But when you think about like all these benefits of all these things and these subjects, you know, I've, everything comes into play in your health. You know, I mean, it's crazy. Um, how about another one? Laughter brings um, the focus away from all of the things that we are going through, anger, guilt, stress, negative emotions. And so it actually is very beneficial to get your mind off of all that stuff. Do you ever say, and I know, Lori, you can probably like definitely agree with us, that you you need to divert from everyday stuff and take a break away. Whether it's and one of the most fun things that Lori and I always love to do is go see some live music. Okay, and when we're there, we are dancing, then right. we are laughing, we are smiling, everything. So that's why a lot of times they'll say music is like a ministry too. But but you laugh because we're just having a good old time. So. What do you have to add to that, Laura? Oh, yeah. You know, distraction is is really, really important because, again, like I said, there's so many negative t- negative things on the news and everything that just, just puts you down. And, you right. angry. and it's like, you know, we talked about this before, and I'm a little bit farther down the page, but talk about watching stuff that are funny, funny stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, like Jimmy and I were talking last night, like about everyone loves Raymond. You know, the one great thing about those shows is you could watch them. So you're watching the show after show after show in sequence. Like if it's a series, you know, everyone loves Raymond or right. Oh, Mike and Molly. I mean, I started watching Mike and Molly. I laughed so hard and I could relate to some of the things in there. And it just gets your mind off the things. Like I said, we spend too much time in our minds worrying about everything. It's got to stop. We got to start and what, and what is it? And smell the roses. We got to do that because. Yeah, yeah for our bodies no wonder we're all aging so much no wonder they sell so many diet pills no matter why so many people go on diets because they're not laughing they're not enjoying their life you know and um perspective is another thing studies show that uh, our response to stressful events can be altered whether we're viewing something that is a threat to our challenge or something that's humorous Humor can give a more lighting hearted at risk perspective and help us view events and challenges, thereby making them less threatening and more positive. Yeah. Just yep. like you said, like today when the, we couldn't get on the. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, it, it was actually kind of funny because here we're doing something about doing being funny and we weren't stressing out. We knew we'd eventually get on there. Um, exactly. <laughs> Talk about social benefits. What about social benefits? Oh, my goodness. Think about it. Laughter connects people. Okay. If you can, it's like, okay, if you share a meal with somebody, okay, that's always kind of like, okay, that's like kind of like a, a, a social event. But when you're sitting there laughing and you're and you're smiling and it's it's basically kindness and people find that laughter is contagious. Right. So that, you know what I mean? And so if you laugh more in your life, you're more likely to surround yourself around other people that do the same thing. And the benefits, you, you just live more of a positive flow aura around you. You know, who wants to be around a Debbie Downer person, right? Like, I, it's funny, my name being that way, you know, it's like, who wants to be around that kind of situation? Nobody wants to be around that kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? And so 
laughing with friends is is like great i mean there's a lot of good comedy people out there if you really got to find a reason to laugh you can find them on all kinds of places i mean there's some really good ones there's some ones that are kind of crass but they're still funny as heck and so i mean find ways to just make things just be silly i know um my brother actually has a very crazy sense of humor okay he really does i mean if he's listening to this he'll be laughing but he played a joke on my cousin the other day Lori. oh my god he texted my cousin and pretended like he was somebody she didn't know and made up this name and my cousin is texting simultaneously saying did your brother get a new phone number and i'm like no why and then come to find out that he was like pulling her leg and he was like just it was really really funny well when my brother told me back how the whole thing started right he's telling tony and i and tony and i are in the car tony's driving and he's on bluetooth and we both, I mean, all of us just started hysterically laughing that my brother pulled this trick on my cousin. And I, I said to my cousin, I go, yeah, my brother, he just loves to do that kind of stuff. And I said, you know, they'd probably put us away in an insane asylum if they heard some of our funny conversations. Or we, we're, but, it's, but it's part of our way of dealing with some of the craziness that we go through on a daily basis because everybody goes through that so it's almost like what is it what was the whole saying that well okay my mother used to have a saying about the people who pray together stay together and i, I agree with that right but i don't really think the people who laugh together actually have a fantastic just way of communicating and it just it's just such a good social way you know so it's cheerful yeah right Right. And you know, my, it's so funny you say that because I was going to mention my brother. He makes a joke out of every single thing and he makes you laugh. You know, he always takes something and either twists it around or he makes a joke about it. And I think that's the way he deals with things. And mm -hmm. I love that about him. I wish I was like that again. I definitely got to get back into my humor zone. This whole article really made me feel like wow, I know what I'm missing, you know? Yeah, right, right. I see you serious. And think about our grandkids, Deb. Think about Mariano, and I think about Josie, hilarious Josie, and uh, Lyric and Key Marley. I mean, they're laughing all the time, you know? And it's like, you have that laughter around you. I mean, I when I see Mariano, he's always laughing about something. Yeah, yeah. You know, we just have to get that back in our lives. And maybe there'll be a big difference. And maybe it will help us deal with everything that's going on in this world too, you know? Well, you know, you said you say that, find humor in your life. And that's one of the things too, instead of like trying to be frustrated and all that. But it also says fake it till you make it. Okay, so maybe you can kind of get creative and try to find that silly, silly zone that you can be, right? But right. Maybe that'll help you if you do that to, because the, the physical benefits are, are so good. Obviously, we've just talked about that, you know, the positive effects and just, you know, the aura again that we can have around other people, other people, like if, if, if somebody's always, let's just take Facebook, for example, right? If somebody's always like posting like negative stuff and if people are, and that's the way that they run their life and they're like, th that's their aura. People aren't going to want to be around them, you know? People want to be around people that are having fun. I mean, and that's, that's certainly our goal. Lori and I are like, are always wanting to like, what can we do to have fun? What can we do to do, you know? Yeah. Where's the party? Where's the party at, man? We want to find the party, <laughs> you know? Having friends over for a party or game night is also a great setup for laughter. You know, I mean, you could have a lot of fun playing games. I know, Debbie, you guys have a lot of fun playing games in your house. I love it. At Debbie's house, they got us um, uh, Alexa. Is it Alexa or Surrey? Alexa, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they, they put all kinds of music on and the, on Sundays when she has family dinners. And the kids will all be dancing around. And I watch some of this and I just laugh. I think, what a great, fun family that is. And it's nice. And, you know, with, with COVID and everything, we all had a lockdown and everything. And um, so we got to the point where we're used to being home by ourselves. But now that it's all kind of gone or it's a whole different avenue, 
that's when we need to start having people over. You know, pretty soon it's going to be warm enough for those barbecues outside. And of course, our outdoor bands that we go and see and stuff. And this year I'm planning to dance because I have two brand new Neos. I guess that's great. <laughs> so instead of complaining about life's frustrations, try to laugh at them. Mm -hmm. Something as, as frustrating or de depressing, it, it's ridiculous. Realize you can look back and laugh at it. So something that might be stressful today, again, you'll look back one day and laugh at it. So why don't you add some humor to it? You know? Um, anything on that, Deb? No, but I was just going to say, I think that, you know, as far as the laughter and as far as like getting people together and everything, you know, there's so many little crazy things like have you ever played left right center oh i love that game oh my god it is so much fun we played it at my son-in-law's parents house over the holiday and of course we played with dollars okay so we, we limited it to three games so the most you could lose is three bucks okay you know it was great but i'm telling you right now it was so much fun well actually wait no you had to have three dollars so you would no you would, could lose more than three dollars i think I don't know, whatever. But anyways, it was funny because everybody's screaming and laughing because they want people to hurry up and do the dice. And, you know, this one's yelling for a left and a center and a right and a this and a that. And we were just, I think that we, that was a stress release for everybody. Everybody was just like, woo, we got it all out. And I think if people would do that more, like when summer comes, bad games okay you can do bad games and you could do them for competitive you could have a prize something silly or do them for a dollar or whatever or don't even do them for anything but just have the fun and that's where you're gonna you know laughter and fun and everything is just huge but we're we're gonna for sure organize we're gonna put out there more of where we're gonna go this summer because we got to find some yeah. great i think there's gonna be a ton this year i really do too and i'm looking forward to it i really am and yeah during the week too you yeah. know you don't live around here wherever you live look at your park districts look at your your village halls and and uh, even you could call your um chamber of commerce right find out if there's any bands playing outside and, and most of them it doesn't cost you anything right us, we could bring drinks and we could bring snacks and stuff like that and it really doesn't cost much at all really except gas to get there but yeah. a lot of fun stuff with that another one of my stress relievers for laughing is my bunco group oh yeah me too yeah we laugh so hard we're crying and stuff it's been a little bit serious uh serious lately because we had another person pass away but oh no you know it's just that's a fun way to laugh and we all need that more so if you want to put in any comments of any other ideas that we could do to laugh, we would really appreciate that because there's always, everybody has always something different. Put it down and, you know, what something you might do is different with your kids or with family members or friends. Yeah. Um, like, to, like to post it, you know. Yeah. And, you know, with that, Deb, I'm going to um, let it go back to you and then I'll close okay. it okay okay yeah all i want to say is i think these are all really good ideas and i really do feel like you guys just definitely you know share us you know we're again we're trying to move on into the next level of getting to that next thousand you know followers but we you know we have fun with this and we're always looking for subjects topics people to interview we we, we just it's so much fun and with that we want to say have a fantastic day um, it's actually not too bad out here in the Chicagoland area. It's sunny, shiny. It's a little chill, but it's, hey, there's sun. And if there's sun, that's that's a happy laughter thing too, right? But with that, Laura, you want to close us out? Well, and thanks again, everyone. Um, you guys have a good week, rest of the week, and we'll see you on Friday. Take care. Oh, by the way, I'm Lori. And I'm Debbie. We're friends helping friends. Goodbye, everybody. Have fun.